Hello, happy Monday. So since today is Monday and we all know I'm a motivational, optimistic, crazy lady here, I'm going to throw out some motivation today that I heard on a podcast that was golden. And I'm going to use this as a way to just encourage you and uplift you in case this is something that you need to hear. So I think a lot of times we live in fear of what if, right? People are always like, don't get your hopes up. Why would you get your hopes up? What if, what if, what if you are disappointed? What if you become discouraged? What if something happens and it takes you out of the game? Why are we living in the what if? If we live in the what if instead of the what is, we literally miss everything going on in our lives and we take everything for granted. So if we start actually living in hope, instead of telling ourselves, don't get your hopes up, this might go wrong. Stop living in the fear of what could go wrong. Start living in the excitement of what could go right. Anticipate, go through your day, go through your life in anticipation that that thing that you are working towards is going to happen. Do you know, <laughs> this is something that I think is really funny. We do things because we want something, you know, like we're trying to get somewhere. And what holds us back sometimes is being afraid that it's not going to happen or being afraid that we're going to fail or being afraid that we're going to succeed or being afraid that we're going to get um, held back from doing that thing that we really want to be able to do. Why not accept the fact that we're going to have struggles? Why not accept the fact that we're going to suffer? We are going to have trials. We're going to have hardships. We're going to have moments that take us out of the game. But instead of looking at those moments and becoming discouraged, use those moments to take a step back, look at the scenario, look at the situation and reevaluate, hop back in and keep going. Because the longer that we look at our discouragement and disappointments and let those sink us into self-pity and sorrow and anger, turn your suffering into joy. I know it's so much easier said than done, but if it's something that you really want to be able to do, you can do it. Life is literally all about perspective. And if you were to just change your perspective on things and stop looking at all the things that could take you out of the game as negative things and start using those things as a positive light, where could that take you? Maybe you would stop being so afraid of the what ifs and start believing in and anticipating the good things that could come from whatever it is that you are going towards. So change that perspective. And I'm not saying this as like a, you know, it's a quick fix. It's really easy to just change your mindset. It's not, y'all, it's not easy. But it's possible if you want it. Here's the thing. Hope can only come into your life if you accept it. You have to initiate that change. Only you can change your perspective. You can either sit and wallow in your self-pity and your terrible self-worth. Or you can say, great, that was hard. That was difficult. That was a really big obstacle in my life. Where am I going next? What am I hoping for? What am I anticipating? Let's keep going. People can say that to you till they are blue in the face. And I mean, I can do that too. I can literally talk about this all day long and I'm not going to. But in the end, it is your choice. It is your choice if you want to sit and be sorry for yourself. And I'm sorry if this is harsh, but it's the reality. I'm not just a dreamer. I'm not just an opportunist, whatever. This is reality. You create your reality by the way you see things. So if you feel stuck, if you feel like you're in a place where you're not worth anything, you have no hope for the future, you can choose to change that, but you have to invite that change in. No one else can do it for you. I cannot do it for you. So I hope you guys all got some golden nuggets from that. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to share a little bit about exchanging your suffering for joy and turning your discouragement into hope. Go into today in anticipation of what could go right and stop being afraid of what could go wrong. Love you guys so much and I will see you all soon.